Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. I'm your host, Nugwa Haruna. We all have an investor profile and investment plan that's unique to us, which can influence the stocks we choose to hold. The Screeners tool in WebBroker can help you narrow your search to stocks that suit your preferences. In this webinar, Gary Christie from Trading Central demonstrates how to use the Screeners tool to identify appropriate search criteria, filter for stocks that fit your objectives, and build customized screens from scratch. Thank you for joining us today, Gary. Thank you, Noah. Thanks for having me. This is a, a, a absolute pleasure to be talking to you know the TD clients and uh, and showing the tools we have to offer. That's excellent. So actually, let's get started by asking the question I think that's on everyone's mind. What is the Screeners tool and where can an investor find it in a web broker? Yeah, just jump right into it. So really, it's it's one way that the whole reason why we built this tool is to help traders and investors find trade ideas um, and help manage, you know, trying to find what to do every day based on market conditions. So we've built a tool that incorporates Kind of everything you'd want in a screener, whether it's technical analysis, fundamental, we got some quant, quantumental, uh, quant rated um, uh, software run by AI, um, a whole range of tools to really make it easy just to go point and click and try to find that strategy um, and, and you know act, action on it with the stop loss, with the risk management tools embedded in it. So it's really a one-stop shop to finding trade ideas based on maybe your own you know view of the market or you can follow experts and we'll, we'll go into that today uh, we built a bunch of you know pre-built screens um, that are you know pretty beneficial in this current market environment so um, jumping right in uh, here we have the main home page well where do you find the tool well right away you can click on research and we'll jump right into screeners and now here is our main homepage. So starting off right away, we've given uh, you know the user quick, you know, actionable screens and strategies you can action right away based on themes. If you follow a specific theme in the market, um, we have a bunch here like five G is popular right now. Um, we even got metaverse, gaming, COVID. Um, so you can go jump right into those uh, and and build a strategy around the theme. Uh, or you can follow what our experts are doing at Trading Central. Uh, at Trading Central, we do have a global team of, of analysts around the world recommending, you know, stocks, managing risk, uh, you know, talking to clients every day. And we build, you know, pre-build strategies uh, for clients. And you have the ability inside TD Web Broker to get those expert strategies right here on the right side. And what's unique now with this, you know, um, with this system is that you get a back-tested chart. Um, so it's something we've enhanced right away. So if you're looking for a strategy, you don't have to guess to see, you know, how is it performing with the market? You have preset screens as well built in. So um, you can do, I mean, there's a ton in here you can play with, but top dividend rated stocks, technical as well, purely technical. This is kind of unique to, um, you know, to TDs. You can get a, a pure technical screen for those technical traders, which we can jump into later on. And then you have the community screen. So we have, you know, as you build a screen, you know, any investor can go in and share that screen with their peers or look at what other people are doing and, and try to find and hunt for that true alpha. See, you know, you know why is this strategy, you know, returning 31% historical performance? That's interesting to me. So you can go digging for strategies that other people have shared and maybe you want to incorporate that in your trading strategy. So there's a lot of information here for sure, but this is kind of the home base, uh, home base where you get started. Right. So you actually touched on something interesting. So you talked about, uh, you know, you showed us uh, just the basics of, you know, what the screener tool looks like. Um, if I'm an investor who's brand new to investing, how would I approach this tool then based on all you've shown me in a way that doesn't intimidate or overwhelm me? So if I don't know what criteria to use, what can I do? Maybe the first step as a novice investor is I know, you know, I want to you know, be invested in ESG stocks. Right. So that's, uh, you know, so you can click on that and, and get it right off the bat, get a list of stocks that meet that criteria based on what we've deemed to be, you know, positive EFG stocks in this, this sector, you know, in any sector, really. And you can go ahead and fine tune that. So you don't have to know what you want, but you have to, you know, you can be curious and figure out what area do you want to dive into in the market? 
because um, there's really no right or wrong answer. Uh, that's the beauty uh, of this screener and in the markets in general. Um, no one knows where the market's going to go. You can't predict it, but you, what you can do is, you know, have a plan in place. And we're really building the strategy uh, with the risk aspect in mind, like a risk control aspect. So I would say right off the bat, go for the themes uh, and in the discover area. You know, if you jump on one that's been popular, you know, recently in technology with the current market, you know, rebound that's been happening, um, you have multiple, you know, in-depth tools in here that we've included in these screens you can build on. And, and then the beauty is, if you want to change something in this, all you have to do is click on bulk edit. You can see the criteria that our expert analysts have put into the tool. And then maybe, you know, you don't care about 90 day average volume. You can bring that down just with a quick slide. Maybe you want large market cap. Maybe I'll add that to 10, 10 billion. Um, instantly you're getting new results. So I encourage, you know, uh, traders and investors to look at the tool, enhance it, play around with it to match your style and see what kind of results you get, right? So you've, you've already seen the performance back test of the original built screen. Then now you can go in and do a quick recalculation screen two. You can retitle it if you want, but now we're gonna run this software, you know, against our Train Central servers right now to give you an instant output of how did that change your, you know, your performance based on your own requirements. You can see how it's back tested, how it performs relative to a benchmark, um, so it's really, I would say, you know, pick that discover theme and then play around with it to see if maybe you can outperform even better than, than what we did. It's kind of, kind of fun. All right. So there's a couple of things you just showed us that I want us to dig a little bit uh, more into. So um, you talked a little bit about back testing just now. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit about what back testing is and how an investor can utilize that as they, um, as they screen, as, as they go through their screening results? It's a back test where you can set the parameters. If, so the default is a buy and hold for three months. And how to use this is based on your results. And you can go in here and I'll just show, um, I'll move down so we can get more data here. So I want to show, here's a detailed results. Now for the back test, it assumes, although there's 19 stocks in this screen, that they're ranked by one to 10 all the way down. So how the back test works is it takes the top 10 results from this screen and does a buy and hold for three months rebalancing quarterly with the top 10 results again. So three months from now, we'll take the top 10 of this exact same screen and it assumes you rebalance and bought those new stocks and then we'll back test it going back five years. So, and then you can act, uh, add a layer of, of, of uh, risk management and put in you know a stop loss as well. So. Um, so you can also do a sell short as well. Keep that in mind if you're opposite in the market. So it's not just bullish, it's bearish as well for those, you know, trading with, you know, short sell privileges, you can do that as well. Uh, a little bit more advanced, obviously. Um, but the buy and hold option and changing, you can change it to your benchmark. So not everyone's going to want to compare it to the S&P 500. Maybe you don't have U.S. stocks. You know, maybe you want to do the NASDAQ 100 because this is a tech heavy screen. So you can change that instantly and it's going to give you that, that performance going back. So pretty, pretty unique. Um, and it's probably most you know, fun features of the platform is being able to, to build your own strategy and then keep hitting recalculate as many times as you want. And it's going to calculate up to a five year historical return. So, you know, pretty, pretty interesting. And, and then if you want to understand how they're ranked, all these questions are tied to the bottom of the software as well. One of the things you had talked about as well was some of the preset screens as well as themes that we have. Um, right. And so for an investor, for instance, I know we clicked on that a little bit, but I wanted us to dive back a little more into that as well as any other themes that you want to highlight. But let's say there's an investor who's more uh, environmentally conscious. So who's concerned about the environment, social and, and corporate uh, governance. So, um, what tools would that investor use um, if they're seeking to find companies that meet those ESG ratings? So I would really, you know, jump right into those uh, pre-built themes. You got the ESG stocks right here and we explain where we're getting these stocks from. So it's it, the whole point of this tool to be open and transparent. Uh, it's, it's not biased in any way. We're not trying to, you know, uh, we don't actually explain a view. It's just a research tool where here we're showing no, our ESG stocks you can look at are part of the iShares MSCI USA ESG Select ETF. 
right? So, um, and um, in fact, the uh, GNC Social Index ETF as well. So we've taken all the stocks that make up that you know, those two ETFs and we've put them in here. And all we've done is, is basically rank them based on performance, five day, 52 week and year to date. And now it's up to the user, the investor to really enhance that you know, and, and see, you know, which ones are the top that they really want to invest in because you're getting a lot of results here, right? 252 stocks come out of this. Now, the next question would be, okay, well, how do I pick the best one? Well, now you start playing with the tool and enhancing it. So the way to do that is you can go ahead and do a bulk edit. Number one, if you don't like any of the criteria, you can remove it all. If you don't want performance criteria, you can do a bulk edit. And now maybe I'm only interested in what's happened in the last weeks. You know, so maybe a five day, I want a minimum return of 5% or more. So it's going to change your results right down to 38, just with that one, you know, adjustment, because the, the way the market has been, you know, some of the tech stocks have been, you know, underperforming. Now I only want the ones that are outperforming relative to the market. So you can do a quick change right there. And now you're getting a new result and you could add multiple, right? So if you do again, if you want to add more to this, you can keep going and going. So we got the bulk edit right here, click on more criteria. And now you can see all the criteria that we've uh, given the user to adjust their screen, right? So we have all the company basics right here. The, and the check mark means this is what's included in the screen already. So you can, either you can remove it or add something new. So we have tr based on trading metrics, price performance and volume. Uh, what's unique too, is we have the technical screen uh, where you can pick specific, you know, classic patterns that you want um, and oscillators and a whole a bunch of mathematical indicators in there. Um, and then, of course, you have the fundamental you know, debt, growth and earnings and valuation. So uh, we show you what we've included. And then, of course, you can go in and enhance that or get help in choosing, which is a, a, a very new feature for us is telling you the basics for a, ver a very beginning investor. Maybe you want to be an ESG, but you don't know what you should focus on in criteria. This is pretty pretty important feature right now where you can go in and start picking your price range and go slowly walk through the process of the basics of a screen. All right. So um, thank you for showing us that. Now there's uh, something you mentioned. So for instance, uh, an investor who's more of a technician or a technical analyst, are they specific tools created that uh, within the screeners tool that that investor could utilize? Um, and then we also have fundamental analysts. Uh, what are some of the tools that uh, you would have available for investors who practice these strategies? Let's just jump into the main page. All right. Now, if you really want to know something, if you're focused on technical specifically, of course, we have some pre-built ones, but let's just make one for fun here. So let's start with screening. Right. So jump into the screener. And what I like to do is just clear all, start with a fresh canvas, you know, blank sheet. And now let's start adding some some interesting technical stuff. So from here, um, you know, I use in Canada um, I, because I'm U, primarily U.S. based. I'm based, I live, you know, I live in Ottawa, but uh, most of my clients are U.S. I'm going to focus on the U.S. market just for this example alone, uh, because that, that's my main market. Um, and now we go to, to more criteria. So a couple of things I start off with always. And you may have some of these questions uh, uh, that might come in later on to how do you build a screen, but maybe you can tackle it, some of it right away. Um, so share type, I always include first because you could get preferred shares or trust units in your results. So purely technical traders want common shares. They're the ones that you can chart the best with the most volume. So you need price activity and volume to, for technical traders. Let's go common shares here. And then um, from my experience, I like using stocks that have options available because they tend to have more liquidity. We're not talking about derivatives specifically here, but I'm looking at liquidity and volume. And, and again, I'm just explaining how a, a professional analyst uses this and how the retail trader can do it as well, right? So um, let's keep moving on to some of the basics. I like market cap, that's generally, you know, higher, minimum, you know, 5 billion, just because again, the, the more security and safety that larger cap stocks offer uh, in this example. Now, this is not, you know, this is no right or wrong here. Keep that in mind. It's just more of a tool that you know, we use for safety. You can already see as we're adding, you know, um, requirements that we're getting some interesting results already with the big cap names, right, in tech. Um, but we're not even at this technical level yet. So let's keep going. More criteria. Let's just jump right in to patterns, right? So I tend to, you know, 
um, most actually most people that use this tool that are technically driven love the technical classic patterns just because classic patterns give you this measured move target price, um, a target range based on that uh, on the pattern breakouts. So let's just in this case we can include all of them. And depending on the market, the, the you know the one issue we have with technical classic patterns is that they are rare, right? So if you do see them, it's it's rare in the marketplace, so you may not get a lot of results. But in this case, we've added all of them. And you know, let's just see what we can get. So we've got a bunch added, and here, so we're, we added any kind of bullish classic pattern that we can find. And now we're getting you know way down to the results, right? So we can go back and see we're going down to five hundred and seven. And let's just see if you can get. Uh, and this is one important note on classic patterns. What do the numbers mean? So we rank all our patterns are ranked of one to five. And five being you know, the most obvious, most, you know, the best pattern available right now based on market data. So a higher number is preferred here in this category for technical traders. You can add a lot more criteria too. Let's just see what else we can add while we're here. As you can hit on bulk edit. We have all the patterns there. Let's add more criteria. Uh, now we also want, you know, probably, you know, volume. I like to include volume for liquidity. And let's just say I want you know, a million shares. Let's bring it down. Now we got eight coming in. So you got something unique happening here. Uh, you can also action right from the results. If you want to make a trade, look at a chart, option chain. That's uh, you know pretty neat feature. We can take action right away on the idea. You can go ahead and do a back test right away from this. You can compare it to the last ones you've done. Uh, let's just see what we get here. As it loads up, this is based on the S&P 500. And you can see how the S&P has done. So you're comparing to the major average benchmark that we use the most here at Trading Central for US stocks. And we have a pretty mixed selection, um, which is gonna be normal in this kind of case where you're only picking classic patterns. So they're rare. So you're not gonna have a lot of results most of the time. And you wanna have a lot of results to get a, a really good back test. Um, so in this example here, that's just, you know, you can click on one, and we'll tell you why it ranks where it does in this in this screen, which is pretty pretty cool feature. So you can see, you know, what does a company do? A little brief description. Here's why it ranks six out of the eight results we've got. And you can see it's in the market cap criteria. It's in the volume, you know, and it's had some bullish classic patterns. So it's you know pretty interesting. And you can, and, and just quickly, I'll just touch on because you're talking technicals. You also have another product embedded, which is technical insights that brings you to those patterns. Um, and that's a whole other um, you know, discussion and topic in the future, which is kind of exciting to me because it's the tool that we use every day. But I wanted to show how everything's kind of you know, incorporated, especially in technicals. Right now, you can see why we've had that classic pattern because uh, we have an upside breakout. And you can click on that, and now you're into that pattern. And this is an idea that, that came from a quick technical screen. So it's uh, a pretty neat way in, this, in seeing the whole product line going through from basic no knowledge, finding an idea to uh, something actionable based on technicals. So that's just one way of how we combine it. Um, this, we can, I can do this all day, really, but uh, there's so much I can talk about um, when it comes to technicals. But that's just one example. All right. So thank you for showing us that. So now you've shown us uh, something that, you know, the technical analyst can use. Um, if I am... You know, if I wanted to create a screener based on some fundamentals, uh, what would be available to me? And what if I wanted to do a combination? Like, what are the tools that are available to that kind of investor? Yeah, great. So you can do both. And that's uh, that's one of the you know, benefits of the product. So let's just, again, I'll quickly do one from scratch just because I want to show how easy it is. And, and the only way you're going to uh, learn is to, is to go in and play with the, the product, you know, do these, do these screens. But I want to show you how easy it is to do that. Again, I have to clear all, go to bulk edit. There's nothing here, zero matches. Let's start, let's start playing with it right now. Again, quickly you're gonna add share type as we talked about, common shares. We want to have, we don't want preferreds when we're doing fundamental analysis. Um, and then jump into more criteria. Um, you know, you can do also uh, what's what's new to us in the feature too is sector and industry. So if you only wanted to focus on one particular sector. Fundamentally, you can do that as well with this tool. You can also deactivate clear all. Maybe you only want to focus on energy and technology, you know, two popular themes these days. Let's, let's, let's try that out. 
Now you've got certain sectors. Uh, and then let's move on to some fundamentals. So I want to look at earnings data. Um, so let's look at, um, you know, EPS growth. You know, last quarter versus prior year, you can quickly add that right on to the screen. And then you can edit these. So I want, I'm going to put, say, 15% growth. I don't look at, you know, one year back, but you can do five years back as well. I'm keeping it simple just for this demonstration. Um, and we, let's just keep going, right? So let's add some more criteria. Um, revenue growth also should be in there. So we got revenue growth. Let's just try one uh, with 10%. And the whole point of doing this is to get some results down because you really only want probably no more than 20. Uh, there's too many to do, to do analysis on. So we're trying to simplify it. So you got some fundamentals in there. Um, keep going on. So there's one brand new feature that we launched at Trading Central that uh, TD clients have access to, which is called our TC Quanta Mental Rating. And that's a brand new uh, you know, product we've, we've uh, put in place where we actually rank a stock based on all criteria, whether it's momentum, you know, um, fundamentals, you know, all kind of price action. So really, it's kind of one unique you know, feature. We rank it on one to 10. So if you want everything covered in one shot for fundamentals and technicals, this is probably the best rating to put in. And we can add, you know, five. And now we're going down to 236. Let's add some technicals to have an extra layer. You know, we can add uh, bullish indicators and oscillators. These are mathematical formulas based on, like, for example, like RSI, MACD. Uh, these are all um, the help to define momentum in the market, which the quantum mental the rating adds that already, but now we're adding a, you know, a confirmed second layer to that. So let's just say uh, we have um, we have all of them here, right? So we've got relative strength, we've got moving average crossovers, any kind of technical event you can think of uh, that's going to be bullish. We've now included that. So we've done all that work for you. You don't have to understand or focus on one specific indicator. You can if you want. That's you know some clients only focus on MACD and no other filter requirements. And you can find just stocks in that regard. You can tune it to however you want. That's what's exciting about it. Um, but here we have them all. So we have a pretty detailed screen here of a lot of results. We have USA and Canada in this example. Uh, let's just see what we get. So um, yeah, we have uh, a top rated TC quantum mental rating for uh, divergent energy, for example. And look at some of these uh, massive uh, EPS growths, some of the points, some of the energy plays. So Oil and gas has been on top and, and some software. We, we actually selected, you know, those sectors specifically, uh, but you can change that as well, right? So I can say select all instantly and we're going to get an instant update, right? So now we're getting a different kind of uh, play. We got transportation number one. So you can rank them as well. So if you only want to focus on quantum mental rating, well, now you can double click on it. Now we have the top rated stocks and we'll tell you, where they rank in terms of the whole screen as you originally had it built. So let's say an investor has gone through this and uh, in their mind, they've created the perfect screen. Um, how can they save this? Cause you know, maybe I, I, when I've created that perfect screen, I, I might not be able to repeat that recipe. So um, I know we can export that, but since the whole idea behind the screener is that it should keep screening out stocks, um, can you show us how, you know, how would I be able to get access to my perfect recipe? So now you have your results, right? You have your historical performance, you have your matches. Well, now easy as that, click on save. And now you can just actually create one. So um, your pre ones you made, your titles are going to be here. Um, I can say, you know, Gary's technical and fundamental screen. And you call it whatever you want, of course. You can put it in the description. Um, and then you can actually activate alerts. And this is, uh, I would say, you know, quite important to understand this uh, feature because it's very useful. You can have as many screens as you want and you can have alerts on them. So it, it can email you daily, weekly, or monthly based on your top 10 matches whenever something changes. And uh, let's just, Talk about that for a brief moment because it's extremely important, extremely useful, and I use it every day in my own research as a professional in the market. Because um, I have a bunch of strategies built in here, and you can see them in the expert strategies list. I'm getting the email, you know, weekly as to a change of the top ten all the time, so that maybe if I'm along those positions and one gets removed, I can go ahead and rebalance myself, or I wait and do it quarterly as the tools intended. But 
the, the alerts is is something unique because it's not a cheap service at all. If you're trying to get alerts on any kind of stocks, it usually costs money and you're limited to so many alerts um, for most providers. Uh, we don't have that issue here. So you can take your strategy and get alerted to when something changes weekly, daily, however you want. You can change your email address, um, add it to your alerts. Um, and now you have it private only to you, or you can go to the community screen and here I could hit save screen and now everyone can see it as well. And every time you do a change, it's going to be listed publicly, which is, which is a neat feature. So, um, and you know, I'm always an advocate for sharing ideas and because there is no right or wrong way, just more of hunting for that impressive performance. You know, maybe, you know, you want to put in your own little uh, title in there and say, look, this is my, this is my L performance screen, you know, get a little recognition, but you know, I think it's a pretty neat feature. You can share all your results that easily. And then you got it in alerts here. And right now it's activated. You can see the bell. Uh, anytime you do a change, just go into it and save screen. And just override it every time. If you want to change a feature or add a title or whatever you want to do. And there you can see it. Here's in the community. I just built this one right now. It tells you what we did. It won't show performance until the next business day. So keep that in mind because we calculate all our performances overnight after a full day of trading with closing prices, and then you'll see the return the net following day. So I get that question a lot. I've, I built a screen. How can I see no results uh, or no chart here? Um, that's just because it takes a day to update. But there you go. It's it's now public, and you can remove it anytime you want as well. You can jump into it, resave it, uh, and then you can also go ahead, export your matches, um, and, or delete it completely. So it's all there, nice and easy. One more question I wanted to ask. Um, I did notice when we are on the main page of the strategy builder, um, you had touched yeah. on that uh, briefly, and I, I wanted us to go a, a little more into it. So, uh, for instance, we've talked about community screens, where community screens are created by other investors who are utilizing, um, who are utilizing the screeners tool. So uh, if I'm looking for the criteria that experts are using, um, I'm going to assume I will use the expert strategies that are, is on the right side of the screen. Exactly right. So that's a good starting block as well to see what the research team has been um, producing. So here it's, it's again, uh, it's a feature unique to TD. Um, you have these globe number cruncher ones that seem to be featured right now. And that's because uh, I personally write for the globe and mail number cruncher column. And, and I share that screen uh, with TD clients every two weeks, right? So uh, this is something that, you know, I've created a use case based on the current market environment. The most recent one, you can see the date, for example, March 24th. So uh, I produced one um, on technology stocks because the sector was rotating higher after a major rebound in the market. So to show you a real use case, you can follow along. And so if I click on this you know, result, it had a pretty good back test, but you can see um, bulk edit, all the criteria I selected. So it's specifically technology oriented, what kind of performance I look for in a week to have it show some kind of a, a bullish momentum. Then I've added, you know, revenue growth uh, and um, specifically because we're coming into that earnings season and I want to have maybe a, a slight advantage of stocks that are actually proving to show revenue growth. And if you wanted to follow up on that, I have included it uh, online or and in the physical paper every two weeks on the Friday. You can see what are we looking for? So this is um, a piece that I write every two weeks again. Why am I picking the strategy? That's important to note. You know, I'm explaining you know, why I developed this. And it's more of an education piece. You know, you know, each criteria I've added, you know, why am I adding revenue growth, right? So why am I adding, you know, a certain market cap? So we wish to focus on, you know, mid to large cap names in the market to, to avoid the smaller, more junior companies. Um, we explain again what we do, but here's the detailed results. It coming in the paper, um, and we highlight a couple of those stocks that that you know really stood out to us based on meeting all the criteria, um, and it's, it's a really easy piece to read to understand. You know how can you use the you know the screen here inside TD to really find results based on the current market environment, um, and that's done again you know, every two weeks, and you can follow that if you like. But that's that's where the majority of those expert screens are coming from, and I explain you know why we we did this strategy. And you know, the whole point is to have a positive return and share something's happening in the current marketplace and it's back tested. Um, and you can see all the history here, um, but we'll have other ones too um, that are not related to a specific you know, column, but this is what's something unique that I do just for TD. 
So thank you, Gary. Um, definitely can feel your passion about the screeners tool. Um, and I definitely know that investors from, you know, uh, brand new investors who are looking to find tools that would um, help ease them into the stock market, as well as investors who are more experienced will definitely find the screeners tool as a very useful tool, right? Because we've shown how you can create these screeners, Ooh. refine these screeners, um, save these screeners, um, find screeners created by other investors or find screeners created by other experts. So it's not over yet. Um, and for those of us in the live segment, we're going to be moving on to the live question and answer. Uh, so thank you, uh, thank you, Gary. No, thank you, Neil. It's been a pleasure. So I'm happy to answer any question. You know, hit me right across. Yeah, throw them my way. <laughs>